All right, so what I'm... You are a creative guy. You're an adventurous guy. You've done a lot of stuff, right? You know, like, you, you've done... You, you've traveled to... So, uh, Nobel Prize, yes. Yeah. You, you've traveled to uh, the Panama Canal? No. Well, you've Canada. traveled to Panama. I got in, up to Panama. In West 1970. Costa Rica, 1973. 1973, you, got, you went to Panama. I went to Central America. What, what, what year did you get to Panama? I never actually went. To, I had a visa for Panama. Oh, okay. But by then I found out the people I was traveling with were passing bad traveler's checks. Oh, and okay. so in Costa Rica, when I found that out in Costa Rica, I said, well, I see you guys. Okay, then I got you. All right, so it's just Costa Rica. Okay, got you. All right, cool. Well, that's cool, cool. All right. And then so you got to Costa Rica, and then uh, I, I well, what happened? I stayed there a couple of weeks, and they went on. And like how many weeks? And Like where in Costa Rica? A couple of weeks in, uh, in, a, in a trailer park resort uh, outside of San Jose at the mountains. Between, it was up wow, on okay. one road. They cross from uh, Atlantic to the Pacific. Wow, all right, interesting. Uh, and, uh, but I also stayed in Cocos Beach and La Libertad, which are cities on the Pacific Coast. They're, they're beach, beach, they're basically beaches. Okay. One's a harbor and uh, one's a, I mean, there's boats put in there, fishing boats, small boats. Okay. But it's basically a beach. Yeah, uh, I may need to turn this off because yeah. this would be kind of loud. All right, so let me get top. And we'll, whatever. Anyways, okay, so you did a lot of traveling. Uh, anyways, uh, rather than you sitting here watching the news and reconcocting everything as a uh, house of cards, you know, like what what, what was happening here and there. Um, <laughs> well, you know, how about we pick your brain, your creative brain? You know, what that noggin of yours, full of all this adventure and experience and knowledge and sailing and guns. And, What's your question? Well, I'm just, uh, you know, storytelling. You know, sh shooting the breeze. You know, it's you, you like to shoot the breeze and, you know, just be creative. And yeah. so th this is why, uh, so think of this as therapy or something. I don't know. It's just, let's, let's see well, if we can yeah. work that, work and massage that creative muscle of yours and uh, uh, what we can do with it. And because, uh, <clears throat> you know, like, think, what sort of story would you sit around Are a campfire? Are you the director or am I the director? Uh, a movie's a director's <laughs> medium. I, I'm just, I'm trying something out. I'm trying, I'm, okay. this is, um, it, it's, I'm just kind of curious, uh, based off like, you know, like, it's so like, if you were sitting around a campfire or reading a good book, like, what's a story you would like? What's a story you would like the author, the storyteller to give to you? What's something that would interest you? I mean, you? are you talking big grand stories or are you talking incidents? Uh, well, whatever. What, incidents. What, what's what's something simple? What's what's like a simple story? Like I mean, I got if, chased by a bear. I've told you that story, haven't I? Okay, I mean, so uh, so something like Farley Mowat, right? You know, you just go on an adventure. Like you, you just go out camping. You know, you, you're on a, you know, not so much a, a a quest. You know, you're just like, oh, well, here's a you know weekend, the place I'm going to go to, the site I'm going to see, you know, traversing and like, right. I saved Richard. Yeah. Uh, how did you save Richard? Okay, what we were going to do is, uh, up in the San Gabriel Mountains, there is a spot on the road that my mom knew about and told us about. She'd have gone there with a geology class. Other than that, you never would have known it was there. You, you, you mind walked, if I, do you mind if I record you? If you want to record it, record it. <laughs> if, you, if you walk right off the edge of the road, and you can't see it from the road, you go down a little trail, and there's a ladder down into a steep, steep uh, quartz canyon. It's got a river in the bottom of it, and I think it's part of the Big Tahunga system. And it and the river goes down to uh, to a, a dam and a fairly good sized lake down there that you can swim in. So I've been there before. We've been hiking there before. And uh, Richard and I decide we're going to go spend the night, <coughs> but um, we're not sure there's any. We didn't know it that well. We weren't sure there's any camping spots. We hadn't been. Actually, by then we, we hadn't been down to the all the way to the lake, but uh, so him and I, with a couple sleeping bags, we take off down there. We have my, have my mom drive us up there, and she parks off the edge. How old are you guys? We're about. And what year is this? I'm about maybe I'm not driving, so I'm probably fourteen or fifteen, and Richard is like thirteen, maybe he's fourteen, something like that. What year? Well, I would have been, uh, if I was 15, it would have been uh, 60, 
65 or something like that, 64. Okay. Anyway, um, so we go down there, and uh, the, 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 the Quartz Canyon is just boulders. There's no place to even unroll a sleeping bag. There's nothing flat. It's either straight down or it's a round rock you can't sleep on. So, but we hike down, and, and uh, uh, somewhere along the line, uh, towards the end of the hike, uh, or, or getting down this river, Richard slips and bangs his knee really bad. And we didn't know how bad it was, the way he was squealing, and he th thought it was broken. His kneecap was broken. So we uh, realized that, hey, this could be a lot worse in the morning. We may not be able to get out of here. Mom said she was going to stay up there for a few hours. She had her textbooks with her, so she was studying. She liked to go up in the mountains and sit and study. Um, so, uh, so, you, and, you, so you and Richard by, were by yourself climbing? We were by ourselves, but she's up okay. uh, maybe half a mile away, okay. up on a hill, up on a, okay. practically a cliff. You know? Yeah, I see. So uh, you're just, I started you're hearing, just boys having fun climbing over boulders. Yeah, yeah just, I, you yeah. know, and we'd probably hike down. Okay, I don't know, better part of a mile down this creek. Right. And uh, so uh, I realized we have a chance of 